Hi guys, welcome back to Wind Waker. It's time to continue the quest for the Triforce Shards with our new mask. Now, there's always a particular pattern of aisles we gotta sail to. I mean, a majority of these Triforce charts are right next to each other. Oh, but actually... Oh, we do have bait. Good. We need some bait. Before we actually do the quest, we're gonna go do a little side island. That island over there is where we need to head next. But we're going this way first. Because we bought until... Stretch us out, out, just for move. Ooh. Where's the mermaid at? Okay. Hey, Swan Fry, I've got a devil of fruit, you see. It's awfully bad. Oh, no one. Horseshoe Island. I wonder why. Do oh yeah, the island do east of here is outset Dumbo. Yeah, he's hitting the whole night's quest thing. Over like forever. Hey, get. Are you fucking stuck? Okay, that's just comical. He's fucking stuck. Okay. He wants it in on the action, though. So you're pretty much playing golf with these fucking things. Okay, this is a waste of time, so fuck it. I mean, it's pointless to do anything in this game because there's hero mode. We don't do anything again anyway. Well, not that hard on the original version for some reason. Hello! I'm gonna kill Big Octa while we're here. Eh? Yeah. 
Yay. Diamond Snuff Island. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, hinting what this place is. Yeah, this is a very special island. It's not a Triforce chart island, but it will help us find a Triforce chart. Also, blue chew here. And you cannot get here until you have the hook shot. So, obviously, we're going to encounter some whiz ropes, some spawning whiz ropes. Oh, I need five more blue shoes to complete that quest. So, this is the ship graveyard. And look, Tetra's ship, it crashed. That's uh, actually a different ship, seemingly. So the gimmick of this island is all about warp cauldrons. It's a warp cauldron maze. And the main inhabitants are the Floor Masters. This last area, we're going to see Floor Masters. This, that was actually an optional area. I just entered the Joint Pendant. Actually, it's kind of a shortcut so you can skip those guys. I can't remember which one it was. Okay. I remember it was usually one of the farthest ones. Not that one. Oh, right side, you remember which ones are you taking because they're already open. The ghost ship chart. Now we can enter the ghost ship. It'll tell us how to find the ghost ship. It is at Bomb Island, which we know. In the original version, if you looked at this chart, it would have made a... But this version loses points because they're not doing that. Now, question is, can we make it to Bomb Island before... 
day's over and the night's over. It's just north of Forest Haven. Conveniently, we got all these other charts along the way, so we don't have to keep going beyond this island. But the next island would have been that little tower place where that gold ship was. After that, I think it's that little headstone island, not the Earth Temple. From there, you can get to the Island of Steel. Anyway, the ghost ship is this way. Now, right now, time is frozen, but when we clear from the forest... We're not going to make it. Uh, there it is, even. Oh, yeah, I fucking love how that happens. This is where the Song of Passing comes the most handy. In the original, they would have also marked the ghost ship on your normal seed chart once you open the chart, but not here. So now, you know what? Okay, the island it's at, we have marked somewhere. I don't know where that is. That's it. So that, uh, I think, look, I mean, it's shaped like an eight. I want to go to Bomb Island, but I just, I want to catch this ghost ship. Oh, there's a fucking treasure there. Should have stayed. Oh uh, yeah, that lighthouse is active for the rest of the game, and you can see it. You can see it as long as Windfall is in view. Uh, now the island that was this way looks like the place. There it is. It's all, and it always storms wherever the ghost ship is, too. I really like this ghost ship just because it's so unique and just so random. And when you find it the first time by accident, you just, whoa, what the hell is that? What do I do about this? I like this little chant that comes from it. So I can only come in here once, but once you're done, you can never... Let well, me improve this place graphically. You can never come back here again, because it gets destroyed. Whoa! Okay, they really changed this place up. Okay, there used to be a bunch of holes in the ceiling where to see little ghosts flying by. Now the ghosts are on the floor. And there's a spawning... Too late for that. Honestly, this wizard is going to make the scary enemies appear. Yeah, these are all scary enemies. You just led to your own death. Bye bye. Also, for some reason, there's a little tiny flower growing there. 
sim symbolizing that there is hope for this ghost shit, but now it's gone because you can actually destroy it with the mirror shield. Oh no, this place behaves just like a submarine, it's just a ghost ship and it's really badass. You can never ever come here again. There's also a submarine by that by the headstone island that I got where the big doctor was, but I kinda of just missed it. And get, grab those rupees cause like I said, you can't yeah, you know, they're gonna kick you out right away. It's a shard! Another fucking freebie! I wonder this whole ghost ship ordeal foreshadows Phantom Hourglass, because the whole plot of that is Tetra is kidnapped by the Flying Dutchman, which is a ghost ship. Play that guy's game. Oh wait, Tingles Island is over here. Is that a? Oh, apparently the seagulls stay there. You know, you beat the. Big Octo. Get the mermaid. Oopsie. See what you gotta do. I'm gonna go to Great Fish and get that mark on the map at long last. I love how Joy R just follow this leads you along. You know what? Thing is, you actually if you follow the Gyorge, they won't attack you, but if you stray away, then they'll get you. Fish Isle at last. Dude, the ghost ship is gone. Just give me new hints, dumbass. The next uh, place we gotta go to is nearby.
forget none of these lumpy ocean legs. It's just so pretty. There's Mermen. There's one. That's right. The reefs... Th those little reefs aren't really very interesting. Uh, you gotta kill the cannons around the area, then a chest will appear on one of the reef's platforms. You gotta walk on the side of the reef and use a decoy to fly to it from a certain area to the position. So the whole thing is really complicated. the endless, everlasting world out there. And with this burning passion driving me somewhere, somewhere I'll finally see the, see the big octo coming to get me out of nowhere. Fun in fact, this was the last big octo I found in the game. It took me a while to locate it in the chart, but uh, yeah, it's right by the cabana. Yeah, uh, Remember when we got the 20 joy pens to give to the teacher and she gives us a cabana deed? This is the cabana she's talking about. A little out of the way of Windfall Island, but we're here and it's, yeah, that is actually pretty important because there's a chart here, or maybe an actual shard, apparently. BBIs. No! I always do that for God's sake. Alright then. Easy money. Didn't have to worry about paint for tingle after all. It's time to explore one of my more favorite miter islands. <laughs> 